Hello, uh, I'm Hexagon Witch, continuing my Let's Play of Chaos Island. Uh, this will likely be the finale. Um, so I'll just go until I'm finished here. Uh, I'm hatching the rest of my T-Rex army. And we've completed everything on this side of the river. Um, so this big ri long river here, I've done everything on my side of it. Uh, there's only one bridge across, and so now I need to finish out the rest of the map. Uh, this is where we have to assault the hey, I'm there. Uh, hunter base. Hey, doing it. Let me add it. Doing it. And I actually wish I had upgraded uh, some stuff. I wish I hadn't, um, because then I could build a second base camp um, to make it go faster. So do apologize from this part out because the sound you're hearing, uh, it's going to be that sound constantly uh, once I cross that bridge. Because I have uh, what? How many of these guys? Uh, eight, eight T Rexes. Um, whenever they kill something, they make that sound. Uh, they're the only things that's going to be killing anything, and uh, because everything else just doesn't have enough health, doesn't deal enough damage, and there are literally hundreds of things. Um, and they also make it on their own. Yeah, I'm just really sorry. So yes, uh, tanks. Let's just... Oh, and we're immediately losing one of our T-Rexes. Just because they're too stupid to actually cross the bridge. Um, but that's fine. I, I'm not worried. Let's go ahead and start to divide up. Actually, and again, we have that problem where the pathfinding is just so slow. Um, just because this map is huge. There's a billion different things going on, um, and the game just doesn't know how to keep up. Uh, so it gets very slow at this point. Uh, oh, and the hunters have T-Rexes as well. Uh, we do want to kill that building. Usually a single T-Rex is a little bit stronger than a, a single tank. Um, but we're still losing a bunch of them. Actually, don't care about their base camp. I don't think they respawn infantry. Uh, we want to kill their. Oh, it respawned anyway. There's tons of jeeps. Let's go ahead and take out the base camp, just in case. Take out that. Again, the the dinosaurs aren't really all that scary, just because they run away. I don't even know why the T Rexes run away. Uh, where is Nick? Oh, there he is. Here. Let me add it. I guess Let it's safe to it. move them up here. absolute wall of T-Rexes is in the way of anything that would want to kill them. Oh, there is some eggs up here so that I'm going to have to collect uh, as well. Oh, I heard the T-Rex die and thought it was the tank. Yeah, so we started with eight T-Rexes, we're down to five lost three so far. Uh, sometimes I make a whole bunch of raptors to kill these three. Um, but that's just even more like entities that are in the world. Okay, we got them. There's some raptors here. 
go ahead and get our fastest two collecting those eggs. Let me add it. And then just use our T Rexes to make just make sure everything is safe. So that when we move our team members through here, they uh they don't die. <laughs> you know. Well, just one final T-Rex. And Kelly. let's go ahead and move our slow yep. team members here. Yeah, okay. And um, now let's just leave our T-Rexes there because at this point uh, all we have to do is collect Eddie, the eggs. Just kidding. Uh, and send our units to the platform. That's a wrap. Right away. And that's the last command we really need to give. Just let them figure out their path. They'll get there eventually. Ian's so slow that he's actually um like they're already halfway there and he just now got there. Hi, hi, and they had to go all that extra distance. But yeah, that's uh, this game completed. Um, so all that's left is to just wait. Um, I do really like this game. Um, it's a really good game, and I was very fond of it. And I think it, for the most part, it holds up. Uh, it plays a little slow in some places, but see that wasn't so hard. Yeah, it's uh, still a really good game. Uh, and if you didn't have enough of the T-Rex roar, we're gonna hear it one last time. And that's Chaos Island. Well, I still have quite a bit of time left, uh, and there is a few thing more things to show. Uh, I've completed the game for the first time now uh, on this uh, system. And so that unlocks the bonus level. Uh, even if you complete the game on easy, uh, you'll get this. Um, and uh, if you remember the movies, uh, there's a part where the T-Rex uh, ends up in San Diego. And so this is that. Uh, it's sort of uh, a more light-hearted version of it. <laughs> um, so you control a single T-Rex and there's a whole bunch of hunters everywhere. Jeeps and tanks and everything. Uh, and there's also civilians in the form of a research assistant. There's a rifle guy. Oop, there's a tank. Hey, you generally just want to avoid the tank. They take too much of your health. But there are also hot dog stands um, that say very humorous things. So actually, yeah, let's, let's see if I can take out this tank. I was going to avoid it, but I want to demonstrate something. Yeah, it's going down real fast. And it's running away. A few times it'll run away. Oh, there was a trolley. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, you can actually kill the trolley. It just blows up. I didn't take any damage from that tank. It did not do its job. So I'll have to take some more damage here and demonstrate something. I don't want to bite off more than I can chew because there's a lot. I do want to see if I can kill this trolley. Yeah, you just block it, you can't move any further, and you just chomp it down. Like, this is 
Like, imagine being, like, 12 years old and playing this game. It, it was so much fun. Um, I've tried a, numerous times to, uh, see if I can, like, kill all of the hunters on this mission, but, like, really, there's just too many tanks. And the T-Rex takes too much damage. Oh my gosh. I will be... Oh, there's two tanks. Yeah, I'm just like, no. There's a few other hot dog stands. I think there's like three of them. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. I will pause real quick. Okay, that, that was the wrong number. Really did wish that I took more damage from that tank, but I don't want to mess with the uh, other, with two of them at once. It looks like they separated, so... I don't know, maybe I will kill them all. I'm mean, gonna have plenty of time. Yeah, the civilians will attack you, but they deal no damage. I don't know, it's just a little quirky, silly thing. So yeah, let's come up and uh, um, attack this thing. I think I've said it before, early on, the carnivores, they heal by dealing damage to them. I think different things are worth more, because like, I took one bite of the hot dog stand and now I'm already in your hole. Of course, the objective is just to get to the docks, to get to the baby T-Rex. Um, there is a tank and a whole bunch of jeeps. Again, I don't want to buy off more than I can chew, maybe lure a couple of them away. Kill them first. The jeeps are faster than the tanks. You can usually kill them in one hit. Yeah, I do not want to be... A attacking two of them. See if we can get more health. It's sort of random whether or not you will. I got really lucky. Unfortunately the tank separated. I might be able to actually do this. I've never done it before so... I need to go down and get that other hot dog stand. Now they're basically just big health pickups. And I've gotten real lucky with that one up top, but it healed me every time. Sometimes you'll destroy it and then it won't heal you. Like right there I destroyed it in one shot. Or that other one took me, uh... You can also eat the civilians and sometimes they'll heal you like a tiny bit. But again, like, if I really wanted to complete the mission it, it'd take like 10 seconds. And there's the last uh, hot dog stand. It's guarded by another tank. Yeah, I can't kill all the tanks. I'm just, it's just not gonna happen. So I'll kill this tank, eat the hot dog stand, and yeah, I'm just gonna GTFO. Doc is sort of walled off. There's a bunch of rifle guys. These uh, rifle guys actually do tons of damage and can kill me. I just need to kill this one so I can get past it. And there's the baby and the cargo ship. Remarkable work. Now what? So yeah, that's uh, the bonus mission. Um, like I said, you can just complete it in in just a few seconds, sort of by just doing this. Was down in this corner, and then you run over without fighting anything. 
Went a weird path this time. Hopefully I don't get blocked by a rifle guy again. And there it is, you know. Excellent work. Let's move on. So if you know what you're doing, you can complete it really quickly. And really that's all this game has to offer. There is some bonus stuff. Since I have time, I, I don't mind actually show you that the uh, this game also has some cheat codes. Uh, see if I can remember. Oh, here we go. This one is a level cheat code. You can go to any level. Um, so it goes hard, and then the easy, and then medium. Then there's also some extra stuff like like this. You choose the explorers as will help you on your mission. For some reason, I guess you can't have. This is Eddie. Oh, okay, okay. I start with Eddie. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Right, oh no, uh, okay. Sarah. All right, I guess. Sorry. All right, this I is guess. the first level of the game with right, massive amounts of dinosaurs. Okay, okay. Alright, I guess. We can All hear right, a T-Rex there. Okay, okay. I guess, I don't know, you could try and play it and survive. Uh, you have zero eggs. Uh, there is, um, some cheat codes you can, like, type in here. So you can, like, give yourself, like, a raptor yes. egg or something. Oh, I can't. Well, never mind. Right, I, I can't <laughs> hatch things. Yeah, what? That um, down. and that's <laughs> that. Oh, I could actually recruit people and survive. Ha! Huh. No Sorry. game over for you. Yeah, I think that's enough of that. Um, there's a few like test levels. Whoever Steve was, he had two of them. Uh, there was uh, a demonstration at E3 of this game. Um, and they used this to, I guess, level 3 to, uh... You choose the explorers as will help you on your mission. Start off with a ton of things and, like, a base already built. A bunch of eggs, like just four of each. Let's see. Um. Oh, there we go. Yeah, even the there was a dinosaur base, or not a, di a hunter base, when normally there wasn't on mission three. So this was just like a. A demonstration. It's actually a little different. There's more trees. This was just like the E3 showcase. Catch a T Rex. And see, like, you can see the incubator is a little faster, but, like, not by much. So, like, two nests would, would still be faster than a single incubator and also cheaper. Pardon? I'll try. I think you can give upgrades. Through the cheat system, I don't remember that code. Does this have objectives? Yeah, it does. I wonder if I can complete it and what that does. Um, one of the uh, oh, I'm getting the music to skip, but one of the cheat codes is you can like summon an alien. So you have this little guy now. And they're super overpowered. <laughs> and it even has like sound. Um, I had not planned on showing this at all, but I realized like, oh, well, I finished the game and I have like a couple minutes left in this video. But yeah, this this is a really fun game. Um, fun to mess around with and build massive dinosaur armies. Uh, or just one super beefed up alien. Um, I don't know what else. I don't remember. You can, I think you can like kill units. 
Uh, like, it has a detailed death animation and everything. But the developers of this game uh, put way too much uh, thought into it. Let's summon another one. Just kill our base. It does massive amounts of damage. Like, it's just super overpowered. Think like? No, it can't. And so it's, I guess it's considered like a dinosaur. Well, yeah, that's Chaos Island. It's this really strange little game. Um, you hatch dinosaurs and control them. Uh, what more would you want? Uh, and there we go. I've run out of time now. So I think I'll leave it there. Uh, hopefully you've seen this and decide to, uh, you want to play this game. Uh, it has a hard time running on modern um, hardware, so that's why I've set up a virtual machine to run Windows 95. Um, one thing to note about this game is that it uh, the speed of the game runs uh, is different based on your uh, like CPU speed, so there's like all kinds of just funky things. The graphics can get really messed up on your stuff, so yeah, you really do have to like emulate it or set up a virtual machine. Um, I think you could probably use like DOSBox and all that. Uh, well, it's been fun, and this concludes my Let's Play of Chaos Island, uh, and I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I'll ha hopefully have more for you in the future. And I hope you've enjoyed it.